all you can eat sushi is here. Delicious food is coming at you on a non-stop conveyor belt. But do you go for quality or quantity? And what about dessert? You've got to start planning for that now, even though you can't eat it until the end of the game. We are collecting sushi and filling our bellies in Sushi Roll, which is published by Game Right and designed by Phil Walker Harding. Hi everybody, my name is Nick Murphy of the Brothers Murph. We're here with Board Game Geek, and today's In Focus is sponsored by the Board Game Geek Store. Well, I've loosened my belt a few notches and I'm ready to eat, so let's get this game down to the table and go a little more In Focus on Sushi Roll. Sushi Roll is a dice drafting set collection game where you'll be rolling sushi die and trying to create your perfect meal. Players will receive their sushi trays and a conveyor belt and will randomly draw dice out of the bag depending on the player count. Everyone will then roll out their dice and place them on their conveyor belt. The player with the red bordered belt will be the first player and will draft their die first. In player order, players will choose a die and place it on their tray. Dice on a player's tray are claimed and cannot be stolen by other players. But during their turn, a player may discard a chopstick token and swap a die on their conveyor belt with one on another's belt. Then they will draft a die per usual. If a player is unhappy with their roll, they may, on their turn, discard a menu token and re-roll as many dice as they would like, and they may do this as many times as they have menus. Once all players have drafted a single die, the conveyor belt moves and all players pass their dice to the player on their left. Play will continue until all dice have been drafted and all conveyor belts are empty. Then the round scores. Okay, I get how we get the sushi, but what kinds are even available? I'm really hungry, don't keep me waiting. The bottom of a player's sushi tray shows which faces are on the five kinds of dice in the game and how many points they score. The white dice have egg, salmon, and squid nigiri worth one, two, and three points respectively. The red dice have maki rolls on them and will either have one, two, or three rolls on a side. At the end of the round, whichever player has the most maki rolls will score six points, where second place will score three. The purple dice have dumplings, tempura, and sashimi. The more of these a player collects, the better. For one, two, or three dumplings, a player will score two, four, or eight points. Tempura can score 1, 5, or 10 points, and the ever-rare sashimi can score 0, 6, or 13 points. The pink dice represent the long game. At the end of a round, a player will collect pudding tokens for however much pudding they collected in that round, but they don't get to eat it until the end of the game. At the end of the game, whoever collected the most pudding will score 6 points, whereas whoever collected the least pudding loses 6 points. And lastly, the green die is all about mitigation. This die can grant players chopstick and menu tokens or wasabi. Wasabi is used to increase the value of nigiri die. When a player drafts a wasabi die, the next nigiri die they draft will be placed on top of the wasabi and is now worth triple the points. Players will play three rounds of the game, drafting die, scoring after each round, and collecting pudding. And after the third round, pudding scores are tabulated and the player with the most points will win. This is a charming take on an already charming game, and the dice drafting is smooth and easy to teach to new gamers. But with the chopstick and menu tokens, there's strategy and mitigation as well. And with any drafting game, there's always the hope that the person will pass you exactly what you need, and the crush and despair as they take your perfect die. Always. If Sushi Roll seems like a game you might enjoy, make sure to check out its page on BoardGameGeek.com and check out a review. And if you want to get yourself a set of the Geek Up bits you saw featured throughout this video, make sure to check out the Board Game Geek store. Until next time, I've been Nick Murphy. We're here with Board Game Geek, and we've been going in focus on Sushi Roll. Have a great day.